If you're using stingrays, I think there are some questions about that. Then this interview can be over. But the judges and the DA even said that they didn't know that you had one of these devices. Why is that? And News 10 asks tough questions to the Sacramento Sheriff tonight about technology that could be invading your privacy. The technology is called a stingray, and it can collect data from your cell phone even when you are not the target of a criminal investigation. Our investigative team exposed how local law enforcement agencies have been using the spy technology for years without the public's knowledge. Investigative reporter Tom Jensen trying to get answers from Sacramento County Sheriff Scott Jones. After numerous refusals to speak with News 10 about his department's use of a high-tech surveillance device called a stingray. We've dealt with your incessant badgering of our department over this these is a issues. privacy issue. We were forced to find Sheriff Scott Jones in public. Hey, Sheriff, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm doing very well. I'm Tom Jensen with News 10. We uh -huh. want to talk to you about your use of stingrays. We contacted Jones before a recent Sheriff's Academy graduation, and when we asked him about stingrays, his demeanor changed. Are you proud of disrupting a, an Academy graduation? That's why we're talking way? to you before. This is why we are so concerned about who uses stingrays and how they use them. Stingrays are traveling cell towers controlled by law enforcement agencies. They are so powerful, they force all cellular devices in up to a mile radius to connect to them. And they can download all of the data coming into and going from the phones and tablets connected. It's a real concern for civil rights groups who say police and sheriff's departments use this spy technology and refuse to divulge how or even if they use it. There's a lot of secrecy about the use of these devices. Hanny Fakori is the head of a nonprofit group trying to stop the use of high tech surveillance equipment on large groups of people, especially when that surveillance is done without judges' approval and defense attorneys being informed. We've been assured and promised that they're not being used in that way, but we don't really know for sure. During our investigation, it became clear the Sacramento Sheriff's Department couldn't get its story straight about using Stingray technology. Originally, it gave us an invoice from the maker of the device, the Harris Corporation, showing the department bought a high-powered antenna that extends the range of stingrays. Then it said, quote, this technology comes with a strict non-disclosure requirement. It would not be appropriate for us to comment. And finally, it said more documents from the Harris Corporation, quote, exist that were not disclosed. The department's attorney said the sheriff didn't have to give us the records and cited all sorts of public records exemptions, including a state law written to protect railroads. We fully comply with the Public Records Act. We've given you documentations that were responsive. Well, one of the one of the quotes from the attorney was something that had to do with rail safety, which has nothing to do with stingrays. Are you proud of disrupting a, an academy graduation? That's why we're talking to you before. The secrecy about the devices starts with the Harris Corporation, which forces every agency purchasing a stingray to sign a non-disclosure agreement, which states the device's capabilities are not for public knowledge. The sheriff has been more secretive than others. We have obtained Oakland Police Department records showing it used a stingray for all sorts of criminal investigations. And when the San Jose Police Department applied for a federal grant to buy a stingray, it said it consulted with the Sacramento Sheriff's Department about its use of stingrays. We found that especially odd because the court administrator's office told us they asked every judge whether or not they approved warrants for the use of stingrays, and every single one said no. The district attorney's office told us the same thing. The sheriff's department never divulged it was using a stingray or a like device for any criminal investigation. I also went through more than a thousand warrant applications filed over the past two years at the Sacramento County Courthouse. Not a single one ever mentions the use of stingrays. There are a few for pen register or trap and trace warrants. Those allow agencies to collect incoming and outgoing numbers from a single cell device. But it's only from those designated devices, not from people in a wide area like a stingray does. And there are dozens more warrant applications which have been sealed with no explanation of why they are confidential or even which agency applied for them. If you're using stingrays, I think there are some questions okay. about that. Then this interview can be over. The, but the judges and the, and the DA even said that they didn't know that you had one of these devices. Why is that? I have nothing more to say to you. 
We reached out to the sheriff's department after that interview and asked if he'd rather sit down and talk to us in a more formal uh, setting, but once again, he declined to be interviewed. Dale and Christina. You know, law enforcement officers and prosecutors usually work together as a team, and isn't it shocking that prosecutors and judges don't even know when the stingray is being used, in what cases? And, and we can't say exactly what's going on here, but I can tell you there's a story out of Florida right now where there are accusations that the U.S. Marshal's Office has trained detectives there in Florida to basically say that they're using confidential informants when they're really using stingrays. And we do know that a lot of detectives here are cross-deputized with the U.S. Marshal's Office.